Andrea, I have to admit, I, I didn't think you were going to come down here. I mean, I, I don't think that you really enjoy this process of media all that much all the time. So when this was optional, what made you say, I'm going to come down and talk to those guys? Listen, I always nice to media because media can like make you like good looking, good like like good 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 looking person for for somebody else or not. So it's better be friends with you, be nice to you, except fucking Russian media. <laughs> What's this week been like for you? I mean, you've been doing this game for a long, long time, but this has been crazy to, to have an event move. What's what's this been like for you? Oh, I'm I'm I'm, I'm absolutely happy, and uh, I'm happy first of all that uh, our show wasn't canceled. So even moved to late, it's like by end of the day, all fighters fighting to make money. So I'm happy, and uh, thanks Dana White, thanks UFC, thank you guys for coming, and uh, we're gonna have a great show on Saturday. I think everybody's been focused on the fact that you guys are losing money by, by coming to California and having to pay taxes. But in some ways, are you saying, but yeah, but at least we get some money coming in? Hundred percent, hundred percent. And uh, I understand it's bad for for fans, for MMA fans. But I don't understand why fighters bitching. You know, it's like definitely better to fight and make some money than fucking cancel whole show and uh, no way when you're gonna fight. So I'm happy. Have you talked to John this week, though? I bother him all the time, even we flew on, a, on, a, on a plane when we flew here, so yeah, I chucked his balls all the time. What do, what do you feel for him? I mean, what do you, what do you take of all this that he's having to deal with and accusations of cheating and he says, it's, it's not me, I don't know what happened? What, what? Listen, he's already got a lot of shit and uh, it's like, he's like worried about, it, of course, he's like, everybody, he feels like everybody, everybody hates him. So listen, it's by the end of the day, shit happens and uh, we have to move forward and uh, he has to, Put great show for fans, and I'm sure it's going to be one of the best uh, fights against Gustafsson. You're back fighting quickly. Was it uh, important to you to? to 100 percent. I'm happy. Thanks, thanks, I, again, thanks, thank you, Dana White, for get me first fight in this year. I'm, I'm very happy. You're coming off of kind of a tough loss against Jamil Adarakimov, where you know you didn't really get to do everything that you wanted to. But how have you looked back at that fight, and how have you changed those things for this one? Fight against two of us and uh, Russian guy. So listen, I think I did better than judges, but uh, fact I lost the fight. I had two losses, so I'm very happy to get back on the track and fight again. I'm gonna fight tough opponent and uh, thank. I'm ready. And we look at Walt Paris. I mean, he's a guy who's been kind of up and down. Uh, how do you size him up? And, you People know, like, saying same history? shit about me, so. I won in the beginning of the year and lost two fights, so it's going to be a tough fight for me. Definitely, it's going to be a tough fight for him. So we here to first of all to get uh, victories for for, for for myself, and uh, he wants to beat me too. So it's going to be one of the best fights too. It's going to, we're going to put great show for fans. And how much of a difference do you think your experience will make in the fight? Listen, we, we study him, I watch his fights, he's a great striker, so I have to be against, I have to stick with my game plan and keep my hands up. You mentioned that John is feeling bad, and he did. We, we don't always get to see him, and you obviously know him very well. Um, has has all of this over the last couple of years? Have you seen it change him? No, well, first of all, two years already. I'm training in ATT in Florida, but uh, listen, John, if he like, first of all, like I said, he's a great fighter, and uh, when he did something bad in the past, he he was worried about, you know, and uh, he paid for this. Listen, if uh, if uh, you saw that and Dana White said like he didn't cheat because he was tested eight times in the last six months, so you have to believe them. So I don't try to defend uh, John, but listen, we have uh, professionals in there and uh, their areas like Jeff Nowitzki with uh, Usada. So like I said, it's good that we fight in this area. So it doesn't matter. Of course, better fight in Vegas because a lot of people already bought tickets come to Vegas to support me. Not, not all of them can change tickets to come to LA, but listen, like I said, you have to be selfish and you have to fight and you have to make money. Listen, I'm a responsible for person, I have family, so I have to pay bills, so it's better fight than no fight. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you.